And the next thing I want to do is I want to do some reporting tables. This is that last part that I showed you here. So I want to do reporting tables by week, month, and year. Very, very easy. Uh, I can do a create table here. So the create table, select the sum, and then where the order date is greater than that. And then I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go for the last date uh, for the week. So there's that. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to change this order date where the date format is going to be per month. And then I'm going to do per year. So now this just takes a quick second. I'm going to go back out here and expand my blog over here. And now I have all my tables. Now let's go back to here if you're curious what it looks like in S3. So uh, we just recently made a change uh, to the iceberg and the Delta connector to make unique uh, uh names in here the reason why we did that is because for, for renaming and as you might know s3 and google um they do not let you just rename things you can in ados but like in s3 you just can't rename a folder you can't rename a file so uh what we do here is we have a unique uuid after this and then that allows the table to be renamed and then another table if you wanted to create monthly sales rope to be created out here if we just had like monthly sales roll up and you rename it, there's no way for us to rename that underneath. So that's why you'll see like uh, different kind of names out here. So if we were to go look in the, um, the customer base that I showed you before. So uh, Iceberg has basically a metadata layer on top of the data. If I click in the data directory, these are just ORC files that are out there. Now, if I go back to um, that metadata directory, these are the metadata. So this is what you're looking at here is Iceberg. Iceberg is just metadata. It's just a, we call it a table format. Think of like a, a bank transaction log, a transaction log in a database, same kind of thing. So this is just keeping track of what's going on in the database. I'm sorry, in the table. So if I were to do another insert or an update or something into here, you'll see this um, grow bigger.